Okay, it's November 1st, 2015, and I'm looking up into a clear blue sky with a manual focus at about 300 feet, uh, probably no more like 200 feet. And these are these very suspicious chemtrail webs. Uh, my area was sprayed a week ago, very heavy. Since then, we've had two hard rains, so all the fibers disappeared. But as of yesterday, October 31st, Halloween, they started, these fibers started falling again. And they're continuing to fall November 1st, mid, midday. And uh, as you can see, there's just a, a huge amount of stuff up there. You've got to look almost straight into the sun to see it. It's just kind of circling around. But my uh, trees are now coated again. And in the one week since these webs appeared, all my spiders have died. I only have one spider left. I used to have dozens or hundreds. Every place, every time you turn your head, there's another spider with, with uh, or two or three spiders. Now there's only one left. And she doesn't look so good. But, uh, so this is an issue for the EPA to look at what this crap is. And is it really killing? Oh my gosh, there's just huge flocks of this junk up there. I wish I could show it a little better. Maybe I'll back out a little bit. Just enormous masses of this stuff. But I also want to appeal for some labs to step up. If the EPA is not going to do their job, then someone needs to do, you know, atomic absorption, uh, spectrophotometry on it, or X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy. Any of these, these simple lab techniques to tell us the exact atomic composition. Is it aluminum? Is it barium? Is it strontium? We we need to know. And why did all my spiders die? You know, also, uh, insects are afraid of these fi fibers. They, they get wrapped up in them, and they, uh, they die. So this is, even if it's not a Morgellons fiber, which it resembles, it resembles the fibers coming out of people's skin, but uh, even if it's not that fiber, uh, it's still a bioweapon because it's killing everything. So I'm calling on you feds, the EPA, uh, Department of Agriculture, FBI, everybody, you know, look at what this stuff is. There's no way these are uh, ballooning spiders because at the end of each filament we ought to have a baby spider and there's no baby spiders. And also how does it get many thousands of feet up there? But these are filaments. They're not ash particles from some farmer burning a brush pile. They are polymers. They're, they're filaments. They're fibers. And I want to tell people that when you see this stuff, that evening, you can go around and collect clumps of this stuff. It's just hanging off of everything. It does attract to itself, so you can pick up balls of this stuff then you want to keep that in a very clean, airtight jar. And when we find a place who will test this stuff, we're going to uh, find out what's in this. I have no doubt that this is part of the solar radiation management uh, geoengineering chemtrail program. And uh, I'm just sort of freaked out that nobody else seems to give a crap. Oh, well, the football game's on. Who's going to look up in the sky? Who's going to count all the dead spiders when there's a goddamn football game on? Okay. If anybody knows the natural uh, explanation for this, boy, I want to hear it. Please give me something to grab onto. Okay, thanks.